Hey, Phantom Maniacs, welcome to the newest Needless unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. As you can see, it's that time of year. Christmas time is here, and we're celebrating with the new, I guess, Santa Gremlin from NECA Toys. Uh, spend a Merry Christmas with Gremlins. Uh, which is, I believe, one of the old movie posters from when the movie came out. Because if you don't know, uh, Gremlins is a Christmas movie. Love this packaging. It's got beautiful artwork, very uh, traditional styling. And then the big white background with the red Gremlins on the side. Very nice. Ultimate Santa Stripe and Gizmo. Which I'll tell you right now, that Gizmo was one of my big selling points for this set. On the back of the box, you can see some nice product shots. The soft goods Santa costume. I'm very excited about this whole set. This was a must-have for me. Uh, NECA has done a number of really great interpretations of Santa Claus. Uh, and this one might be my favorite yet. Uh, Gremlins. A gadget salesman is looking for a special gift for his son and finds one at a store in Chinatown. The shopkeeper is reluctant to part with the mogwai, but sells it to him with the warning to never expose it to bright light, water, or to feed it after midnight. All of this happens, and the result is a gang of gremlins that decide to tear up the town on Christmas Eve. This special edition figure is, is an homage to the imaginative newspaper ad campaign used to promote the film during its smash hit theatrical run into the 1984 holiday season. So there you go. It is based off, it's based off of a print ad and not a poster, but, you know, same thing. Uh, beautiful. Love it. NECA is brilliant at this kind of stuff. And they're also brilliant at crediting their artists. Uh, this really is absolutely fantastic. Uh, that they do this, so you know who contributed to this wonderful piece of art. Uh, and you see cover, cover illustration, courtesy of, uh, I, I'm going to guess that's Jason Edmiston. Fantastic artist, you should be following on Instagram. Uh, but let's get to it. Let's bring out our trusty 1964 box cutter. Slice right through that circular piece of tape and into the contents within. Well, hopefully not actually slicing into the contents, but let's just take a look at the contents. All right, we've got your standard. Oh, you know, I didn't even open up the window. I'm so excited about this. I forgot about the window box. Uh, and of course, you've got the toy in action mimicking the poster. Very nice. All right. So anyway, uh, there is Stripe. And this little gizmo was, like, I was going to buy this anyway, but when I saw that it came with a scale-appropriate gizmo, because that's something that's always kind of bothered me about NECA's Gremlins line, is the Mogwais are not in scale with the Gremlins. They're too big. So to have uh, an appropriately scaled, which I believe these are one-sixth scale. I could be wrong, but I think these are about the right size to go with 12-inch scale action figures. Uh, I could be off on that. The Gremlins might be a little bigger than that. But still, uh, if I put this on the shelf with a bunch of 1-6 uh, scale figures, I think it would look okay. All right. Let's get Gizmo out of there. Got the uh, candy cane. That's a must for any NECA holiday item, I think. And we have our accessories secured in there with tape that is not directly on the accessories. And I appreciate that. I'm just going to do a little slicing right there uh, so as not to waste too much time. And finally, we've got our Santa Stripe, who is, of course, secured with some plastic tabs. And we use our handy-dandy Dollar Tree fingernail clippers to clip right through those, saving much aggravation and annoyance at one of the most frustrating things about being a toy collector. Uh, if you don't have a cheapo pair of fingernail clippers in your toy opening zone or station or whatever, I don't know what you're even doing. Especially with these new plastic tabs that are, like, you, you can't just, you, you got to do something with them. And scissors seem like a little much. Uh, and, and honestly, sometimes scissors can be a little dangerous to the toy. Uh, you can risk scraping off some paint or something uh, along those lines. Or with the soft goods here, 
you could shear off a portion of Santa Stripe's beard, and nobody wants that. All right, my gosh, I hope that's the last tab. This guy was really securely packed. There we go. Pop him right out of there. Let's get our plastic tabs out of our review area and take a look. Oh, kids, don't eat that silica gel. All right. So he's got his, uh, obviously this is just a standard stripe figure that's been released before with the addition of some truly wonderful, okay, so we've got a wire in the Santa hat that'll kind of keep it in place once you get this guy posed up and ready to put on the shelf. He's got the articulated ears that all of these gremlins have. He's got, let's see, has he got, jaw? yes, articulated jaw, very nice. Just the angriest looking little Santa you've ever seen in your life. The soft goods, oh, the wire actually goes up into the top of the Santa hat, so you can pose that any way you want. Uh, in the art, it's not like hanging, it's, it's actually kind of sticking up like that. So you get a little wire in there to pose it right. Uh, the beard is loose. None of this is attached, so it's a little easier to get things into place where you want them. Uh, and then the Santa suit itself, this is quality soft goods right here. It's got a nice velvet feel. We've got our little fluffy cuffs and all of our trim that we attribute to uh, a traditional Santa suit. Look at the paint detail on this face. Uh, the, the gleaming, shiny eyes look absolutely fantastic. All of the painted detail here in his markings, because each one of these gremlins has individual markings, uh, because most of them don't have the hair that Stripe has, so that's kind of how you tell them apart. Uh, all different markings, just really nice. Uh, I don't want to mess with the articulation too much since he's got this on, and if anything pops out of place or, or breaks... Uh, then it's just kind of stuck under the suit. So uh, there's going to be a minimum of posing in this one. But you can see uh, the wrist right here. There is a hinge joint right there. And I'm not even going to try to bend that without warming it up because I broke a Marty McFly the other day and had to get a replacement. Uh, but all of these joints, I'll probably heat them up so I can pose them a little bit more. Look at his little claws, uh, the shiny paint they used on the claws right there. Just looks really, really nice. Same thing on those toenails. Gotta have your fancy Santa Gremlin toenails, right? Right. All right. I will bend that elbow a little bit. I, just what a great addition to the Christmas shelf. I actually have a collection of Christmas and Santa figures, and I'm thrilled that this guy's going on there. Uh, so let's take a look at what else came in the package. Look at his little tail sticking out of the bottom of the suit there. So actually, you can see the little Velcro on the trousers. So if you do need to get these off, you can, but uh, I'm going to avoid that. All right. Uh, now, let's take a look at Gizmo. Adorable little Gizmo. Uh, head is on a ball joint. No other articu... He does not have the articulated ears or obviously the articulated eyes, and that's right... The full-size Mogwai have uh, articulated eyes inside now. So there's a little lever in the back of their head where you can pose their eyeballs. But this one's too small for that. It would be unreasonable to expect it. Uh, but he does have... Uh, you can move his little hands, his arms. You can see right there, you've got a hinge joint that rotates. Uh, and then his legs don't move. And again, not necessary. Don't need it. This gizmo is for one specific purpose, and that is to be terrorized by Santa Stripe. And that is A-OK. -okay. It almost looks like this arm is backwards. Maybe not. No, it's just weird. So he's fantastic. Great paint on him. Uh, you can see his little face has all of the detail you would want in a gizmo. He's got the little smile. Uh, I'm happy for him to be smiling instead of terrified, because if I'm only going to have one tiny gizmo like this, then it's it's fine by me that he looks happy. That's I want a happy gizmo. Uh, all right, let's take a look at Santa's sack. 
which is really looks more like a wizard bag or something. That's kind of interesting. Uh, it has wires going through it as well. It's got a wire around the top here. And it's got a wire going all the way through the bottom. So there's a lot of posing possibilities with this, which I think is great. They're, they're not relying on you to just sort of hang the sack and, and call it done. Uh, I've got really nice printed stars and the moon on there. Uh, it looks really good. It, it is a very unique Santa sack and not just like a green bag or something, which, you know, comes from the picture, makes it look good. Now, we've got our yellow cord here that I'm not quite sure. Maybe it loops through here somewhere. Let's take a look at the picture and see what we've got. I'm not actually seeing that yellow cord anywhere in this picture. Let's take a look at our product. Oh, okay. So it just ties around the top of the bag. That's all it is. Uh, it doesn't go like through anything. So that's fine. You can use that or not. It doesn't even matter. Uh, I guess if you want, uh, if you want Santa stripe standing there, just holding the bag closed with gizmo presumably inside, then you put the cord on it. But I'm, I'm not really wanting that. I want this gizmo on his back, just like in that picture. So let's see if we can recreate that real quick. We've got, uh, he's actually got the candy cane in that hand. And I know it doesn't really matter, but whatever. So we stick him right in here. We put his little hand on the wire and hope that kind of keeps him in there. And then, and this, this will be the trick and the thing that I'll probably end up doing off video, but let's hope we can sort of rig this up just for a nice shot for you guys is get stripe to hold that. And you know what? I think we're going to call that close enough for now. So this is awesome. I believe it's a target exclusive. I imagine it's going to show up in stores uh, before too much longer. I ordered it the day it went up for pre-sale and got really lucky and got one in. But this is awesome. You guys, you guys, you have to have it. If you're a fan of Christmas, if you're a fan of Gremlins, this is a must-have. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and remember, don't expose them to bright light, don't get them wet, and don't feed them after midnight. Thanks for watching, you guys. Merry Christmas.